Hi, I'm Eloy Rodrigues. I'm the director of University of Minho Libraries and I'm the chair of the executive board of the Confederation of Open Access Repositories, CORE. I've been working and promoting open access and repositories for almost two decades and despite the significant advances we've been witnessing during this period, the fact is that we are still far from 100% open access to research publications. Repositories have not fully realized their potential. Uh, on the other hand, the strong pressure to, for flipping to APC-based open access, meaning open access uh, uh, based on the payment of article uh, publication, may end up not resolving the problems of the current system for disseminating research and maintaining the problems of sustainability and equality, uh, just moving them from access to participation. And finally, they may, they, this might also hinder innovation. At CORE, we believe that the globally distributed network of around 4,000 repositories worldwide can be leveraged to create a more sustainable and innovative system for sharing and building on the results of research. Our vision is to position repositories as the foundation for a distributed, globally networked infrastructure for scholarly communication, on top of which uh, value-added services will be deployed, making the system uh, in that way more research-centric, more open and supportive of innovation, and uh, uh, at the same time, and this is very important, collectively managed by the scholarly community. However, uh, repository platforms, the repositories that we currently have, are still using technologies and protocols that were designed 20 years ago uh, before the boom of the web, before the dominance of Google and social networking, before the semantic web and the ubiquitous uh, mobile devices. And so, in order to leverage the value of the repository network, we need to equip uh, them with a wider array, uh, array of roles and functionalities. Uh, and to address this problem, CORE launched the Next Generation Repositories Working Group, which produced in November 2017 recommendations for the adoption of new technologies, standards and protocols that will help repositories become more integrated into the uh, current web environment and enable them to play a larger role in the scholarly communication ecosystem. The next generation repositories is based in some guiding principles such as distribution of control to reduce the risks of monopoly, lock-in and failure, and inclusiveness and diversity to be responsive to, responsive to different needs and contexts of different regions, disciplines and countries, sustainability relying on the network of institutions and research organizations like universities which have historically proven to be reliable and sustainable, and interoperability, promoting the adoption of common behaviors, functionalities and standards, ensuring interoperability across repositories and with external service providers. Technically, the vision of next generation repositories rests on making the resource rather than the repository the focus of services and infrastructure. The next generation repository has some important characteristics like managing and providing access not only to, to articles and the traditional publications, but to a wide diversity of resources, of uh, uh, resor uh, research results, like uh, including preprints, data sets, working papers, software, workflows, etc. Uh, also being machine friendly, so enabling the development of a wider range of global repository services. Uh, and being active and supporting versioning, commenting, updating and leaking uh, across resources. The next generation repository will not be uh, uh, the final destination of publications like uh, occurs today where, joking, we can say that it can be the, the graveyard of publications that were initially published elsewhere, but the, the next generation repository can become the birthplace of a wide variety of research results, facilitating further services like quality control uh, and community uh, engagement, uh, through peer review, commenting and social networking, as well as novel dissemination methods 
of those diverse research uh, results. We are now working in different contexts in the implementation of this vision of the next generation repositories, raising awareness and promoting uh, our vision, working with open source repository platforms on the adoption of technologies and exploring opportunities to develop the, and pilot some of the enhanced services and behaviors like peer review on top of repositories, social networking and standardized usage statistics. I invite you all to engage on the discussion and the implementation of next generation repositories. Thank you.